This is Vegas All Net Radio, the final frontier of free speech. Views and opinions expressed on this program are those of the hosts and guests and do not necessarily reflect those of Vegas All Net Radio, its affiliates, or its parent company. Welcome back to SinCityBounty.com. It's Tuesday. It's Tuesday. It's Tuesday, 8 p.m. It's Tulip Tuesday. <laughs> if, if tulip is a euphemism. Tulip is a euphemism. We have lots of... Because lots you of, have two lips. You have lots of... Uh, <laughs> some some have four lips. Oh, that's right. When they got the uh, internal bat wing thing going Some on. have six lips. I know. It's kind of almost alien-like, isn't it? I when know. they're all crazy like that. And they open their legs up and it's just like... Wah! And well, like, why do you have so many lips? <laughs> we, got oh, a, we got a story coming up about that. Where you see these? People. On Tumblr, <laughs> <laughs> we we're we're porn fanatics. We well, not fanatics, but I don't know about you. Well, I am. You know what? I haven't opened up my porn uh, Tumblr in a long time. I have a private, uh, totally off the radar. I did share it with Vendetta uh, Tumblr porn. I have one too. Um, that I, I'm mostly a lurker. I don't really re re blog a bunch of stuff. But I forgot that that's the last one I was logged into on my Tumblr app. And so I got, bring, erotic cartoons is trending 53% more. <laughs> bring, straight furries is trending 75% more. I'm Whoa, like, damn it. Now we're back up. Back <laughs> so, up, back up. So the reason, that I ha- the reason I have uh, a regular Tumblr for my regular life, we have a Sin City Bounty Tumblr, for those of you who don't know. And I have my private porn it's even initials it's not even a, a name it's like oh i'm not even gonna say what it is but it's initials like right my private tumblr porn yeah <laughs> so um I, so the reason i have those separate ones one is so we can post the stories that we're going to talk about on the show and advertisements and stuff like that for the show mine is so geeky like every doctor who and walking dead and everything else but i cannot see porn in my regular tumblr because it throws me off. So I You're made like, nerd, 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 dick, nerd, 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 <laughs> vagina, nerd, 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 so, boobs. So, so I made a porn Tumblr, and I have to delete everybody on there who po- who posts regular stuff along with the porn stuff. Because you, you did you? I don't know if you know this, but you can't even search. I couldn't search for the masturbation story, uh, the New York masturbation story on Tumblr. They won't let you search for things like vagina or boobs or dick or anything like that. No, you have to like search that. for erotica. Right. Or, so. or, 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 uh, Lolita. I, I, and I told uh, Vendetta, because he does mix and match his Tumblr posts, I said, I'm so sorry, but I'm going to have to unfollow you on my porn <laughs> Tumblr, <laughs> because I can't see, uh, you know, a post about Spider-Man one minute, and then some guy rubbing his cock up against the clit the next. I just can't do it. <laughs> can't do it. Throws it. me off. I'm like, Peter Parker? Not you. So what I do, and the reason that I love it so much is because they're mostly GIFs, right? They're the moving pictures. It's just a single picture, not a movie or anything like that. It's just a moving GIF. Although they're not allowing you to post small videos on Tumblr. Yes. Now. Oh no, no, you can. That's that's true. And the Vine videos play, mm-hmm. you know, um, kind of like Facebook now, which is great. You know, the, the video will play. You don't have to turn up the volume or anything. Um, but I post things, and you would probably like this. I post things that I love, right? Uh, anyway, and I'm hoping one day, if I ever decide to date again or get a boyfriend again, and um, we should we should swap porn tumblers, and I can see what he likes, and he can see what I like, and we go from there. We don't even have to discuss it. I mean, just share my porn That's right. tumbler with you. In That's the right. BDSM community, there's a thing called a checklist, what you are into, what you're willing to try, and what is a hard no. You should just have that as a dating uh, Questionnaire. It's like a contract. Like it's in a first date. <laughs> the B- of Grey. The, yeah. I, I follow actually quite a bunch of BDSM uh, Tumblr blogs, and man, some of those are like scary. I'm like, ooh, oh no, skip, scroll, scroll, scroll. I just, you know. <laughs> Mine's all the weird shit. Is it really? Do you like, yeah, like, weird I like, porn? I do like weird porn. Like, the weirder, the but better. But would you do the weird porn? Probably. See, that's the thing. Most of the, most of, any of the posts that I put on that porn site well, is, are things that I want to do. Well, mo- so most of my stuff is like, 
Lolita stuff and uh, furry porn. Don't judge. <laughs> and I, I'm wanting to know why I don't have furry, love porn. furry vintage, ero- porn, yeah. vintage like, erotica. Really? I'm really into vintage erotica. Like wow. I really love it, especially when you can find the really good stuff from like turn of the century or Victorian England. Those those, are, those five cent uh, yeah, little movies that you put, would put your. That's actually I, I for the historical aspect of it. I think that's awesome. <laughs> I but get I don't, on it, too. It doesn't turn me on at all, though. And <laughs> erotic so. art. I love erotic art. <laughs> so that's mostly what it is. So it'll be like furry, 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 furry vagina. Furry, furry, furry. <laughs> 1890s furry vagina. Like, it's just. Now, is there a way you could just share yours with me and then it, like, syncs like a playlist? No. So uh, I don't have to no. go through the work and search out this. No, but no, you can you can see who other people follow. Yes. So like. So if, if I were to give you mine and she would give you hers, you could go to see who are who we follow and you could follow all those. Yeah. And then you would have a dashboard full of great stuff to look at and crazy stuff to look at. Mm-hmm. Sin mm-hmm. City Bounty follows a bunch of BBW. Uh, oh, aren't. So uh, out of all po- this time, I've never been on the Sin City Bounty Tumblr. <laughs> When you took that back, could you tell? <laughs> <laughs> yes, I could tell. There was no posting since 2014, I think. So I probably should have been doing that. <laughs> no, no, it's all right. You you use what you know. You right. Know? Yeah, you use what you know. Uh, I don't use Tumblr, but now that I know there's furry porn, uh, like there is every I kind of porn. In. There is so there is every kind of porn. So Ryan Reynolds. Uh, one of my <laughs> tumblers posted a tumbler from Ryan Reynolds that says, Call me old fashioned, but sending a dick pic is disgusting and lazy. Real love means sending a nice bouquet of penises. <laughs> is Speaking that your of now is that your personal one or is that your porn one? That's my pro- porn what one. What the it's retro fucking. It's one of my favorite guys. Oh god. It's vintage porn. Like are you, that are you show, like there are you're not showing it on the U stream. No, I'm not you? showing it on the U stream. That looked like there was a squirrel there. <laughs> <laughs> That's what my vagina looked like. So are you clean down there? Are you full Brazilian down there, uh, Toxie? Uh no. I'm just uh airstrip? I'm very close to myself. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you sure you want to follow me on Tumblr? No, I'm not now. <laughs> oh, that's a good one. There's it's Although I am going wow. to get, um, I am going to get a, a Brazilian. I keep saying it. I'm finally going to do that. Are you gonna do a home? My, are you gonna do a homegrown Brazilian? You gotta go to a salon. Oh, you need to no, go to a there, professional. No, there's, there's actually a woman here in Las Vegas that she specializes in big girls. So like a lot of my friends go, or you know, I'll know they're coming to so and so's house, and uh, I, I, I've had many times she, where they said, a, come and get it done. She, she carries, like a massage lady, she carries her table and her toolkit with her? She she specializes in, in big vaginas. She, <laughs> and just in, so you know, it's vaginas. also big buttholes. Mm-hmm. Because and, uh, a full yeah, Brazilian is assholes to right, elbows. Yeah, like you have to get on your hands and knees and then, you know. Spread them. Spread <laughs> them. And if, if all the, the friends are doing it together, they'll help spread each other. And I posted a story on the Sin City Facebook this about... way more than Lawrence <laughs> of Arabia ever wanted to know about us. <laughs> I posted a story, a, a news story, I think it was from Channel 5 News here locally, about uh, the t- butt tickler. Did you see I, that story? I have to tell you, I fir- the first time I saw that story... Is it I real? Kept, no, I kept trying to find okay. a, a legitimate source. Yeah. Um, because I thought this is an amazing story that I wanted to talk about, <laughs> and that, that somebody actually it. did this. It's it's a butt tickler. Like he was going into a, a breaking butt tickler into homes. A, um, it has people. a it has a technical butthole. It's term. butthole tickler. It was right. specifically in the story butthole tickler, right. and that's why I knew it wasn't real because it was. Somebody tries to spread my butt cheeks when I'm asleep. I know it. I don't think I don't think you do. I do. <laughs> I'm telling you. I'm going to tell you, I have I've an ex-husband. You at I don't think you did. You, did your ex-husband try to do that while you were sleeping? Of course he did. Oh my God. What, what was it called? Butt cheek tickler? But it, it's, on, it's on our line. It's I know, on our line. I wanted to. Um, I had, oh, I had the... to uh, uh, Urban Dictionary it before. Got it, got it, got it. Our tool tickler. It's, it's an actual thing. It's I'm just scroll through my Tumblr now. It's an actual thing. What yeah, was that other thing? What was that other thing that I posted that you said was an actual fetish as well? Oh, the bread mashing the bread, with the face. The bread, yeah. So my <laughs> my sister posted this video to my page, and then I think you may have found it there and reposted it on our page. But anyway, so it's a bunch of little Asian ladies who are just smushing their bread and their bread, their faces in different loaves <laughs> of bread and other very carbonated materials because. 
I am on a very carb restricted diet right now. Yeah, it was a gif saying when I'm on my diet, but I still want my carbs. Yes, so you're just like smooshing your face around in carbs. That's an actual fetish. Like these women, this isn't like some women randomly doing this. They're doing this, I'm sure, on one of those paid porn sites, and they're getting paid like 99 cents a video for wow. it. Wow. But well, wait, it's, it's just for smushing their face and bread. Yeah, oh, there's the all kinds of smushing food against your body. What the we know sitting, from sitting when, your butt on cake. From when we did the show your... before, um, Platinum Pussy, remember her? She yeah. told us how she made money off cam just by grinding her toes into a hamburger. I why is there nobody telling me this? I could do this. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I could do that. And, and you don't even have to ever show your smushing. you know and you know what most of these guys, as long as it's not the face smushing thing, you never have to show your face. Most of the time, it's they just want to see your feet in the food or your feet in the Listen. dirt or whatever it is. Some people, some are going to be looking at these smushing videos, and it's going to be my ass and a cake. You know which one I want to do? <laughs> 99 this cents a video. <laughs> twisted ass porn uh, fetish of people farting on cakes. What? <laughs> yeah. So that the icing goes... Pfft. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> Look up cake farts. Google search. I am not looking that up. Oh it's a lot better than dolphin porn. But we found we found out before how um how you can fart on commands where they put the the baby nose sucker they, they in squeeze their air in your butt, butt and they squeeze air in there. It's just like making yourself burp. Yeah, like you know where where you have a little baby and they have boogers and you use the bulb to suck uh -huh. out the boogers. You do that to your butt. You do it to your butt, you although you're blowing in. the air in and then. You can fart. Do you really need that? Because you're like a master at that farting no, on command thing. Oh, okay. <laughs> no, I just need a good bowl of chili and some broccoli. <laughs> I can burp on command. So can I. Is I can burp baby for that. I can too. Please don't do it. It's on sexy. <laughs> Any any you know, guy. We, we could we could Morning. like dueling banjos, A B C D E F E F. Ninety nine cents a video. <laughs> okay, so this is what we're gonna do with our tumbler. We're, we're going to help you set up one, or I'll set one up for you. Okay. And then give you the pass login and password for it. Yes. I'll get your porn tumbler and my porn tumbler, and I'll make sure that Sin City B Bounty follows them. <laughs> Sin City Booty. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, we could call ourselves that with Toxic Booty. We could. And, um, and then everyone can just guess who they are, who we are from those. So, yeah. yeah. Now I'm excited. And you should. just can't post anything about the show on those or people will know. Okay. <laughs> okay. I won't. It has to be your very private. Your very private. It is very. I will private. keep it very private. And then Except again, when I forget that I'm logged into it, and my phone yes. at work gives me notifications yes. while it's sitting there, and someone's so, standing at my desk. So giant penis porn, forty-five percent trending. I have on my phone my regular Tumblr, and then on my iPad I have my porn Tumblr because I will watch it before I go to bed sometimes, or I will scroll before I go to bed sometimes I when I too. need some excitement, inspiration, right? And then I accidentally, or not even thinking about it, give the iPad to my mom to go play solitaire or something. Right. And if she accidentally hits the Tumblr thing, it'll just come up porn for her. So I have to be very careful. See, well, that's why even for me, like, I, all of my porn access is done via this. Right. <laughs> via my laptop. And then um, my Sin City Bounty stuff is here. And everything, my work and all of that is on my main. Right. Because, you know, my daughter will access. Right. So I don't want her accidentally clicking something and going, right. my mom was looking at butthole tickler. <laughs> I have two entirely separate password logins on my computer, one for my son and one for me, and you cannot interact oh, between too. the two. Right. That way he can And you're the only admin for I am the only stuff. admin yeah. for Gal. I just keep the good stuff on one and the other one, you know. Boring. Boring. I only have one computer, so... <laughs> Just if you if you if you you know if I get into the habit of logging out, I have no issue. Sometimes I forget, fall asleep when you're scrolling. But I can't ever log out. I forget what my passwords are. Yeah, I make mine. Well, that's another issue. So that that's uh, that's the main number as a social media person. That's the number one problem I run into is nobody remembers their passwords mm -hmm. ever. <laughs> so here's a tip. Here's your social media tip from the Sin City Bounty. Make your password a word that you like. And then change some of the letters into numbers. So, which right? is all of your passwords are penis with an L instead of an I. Yeah. Right. <laughs> and a three instead of an know. E. A three instead of an E. Right. You you pick your uh, an eight letter word or better, 
is usually best. Cap make it make it a proper name or a proper noun so you can capitalize the first one because most passwords require some kind of uh, capital and I, then at the end add some your favorite emoji. I have a, uh, a series of formulas that I use to create passwords. Um, one for my personal account and I have two different formulas for my work accounts because some of the programs I use at work require me to change my password every three months, which fucking sucks a dick. It does. It fucking sucks a dick. We have a program that we have to do that too. Oh my god. So, um, but if I use the same formula, I, I know, okay, if it's not this one, then it's going to be one of these others. Right. And I rarely ever lock myself out except for I, I locked myself out of our HR program today because... I forgot which password I was using, and apparently I did not use my normal formula. So. And if you, um, I'm gonna let me move it. <laughs> and if you're going to, if if you if you have the ability to do that, if you do that anyway, mm -hmm. you'll remember your passwords better if you log out all the time mm -hmm. and have to log back in with your password. Right. It just makes you better at it. Personal opinion. Yeah. The the whole saving your password or the keychain or whatever the hell it is that Chrome and all those things give you just makes you lazy, in my opinion. Lazy. So. All right, so what else we got to cover before we get into our update? Oh, oh I want to give a brief porn. shout out really right. fast. We probably should have did that really before fast. all this, right? Really fast. I should have started out with a disclaimer that if you happen, just a disclaimer, please. If you happen to be one of uh, my soccer parents, <laughs> turn it off now. If you haven't already, because of all the cursing we've done. <laughs> and if you happen to be one of her soccer parents, stick around for a good time. That's right, 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 right. No, turn it off now. <laughs> wait, wait, we've got some informative uh, stories we to talk do, about. We but <laughs> as, as I explained, I, I made the mistake of, you know, we were having a, a very intimate group moment. Not that kind. Um, this weekend at at the hotel, just hanging out in the lobby, and and people were sharing, you know, personal things. So I just so happened to mention, you know, I I knew about some fetishes, and they, they were saying, "How do you know about these?" And I said, <laughs> "Well, <laughs> you're going to be the one all your friends come to now." And they're like, "Is it normal if he wants to right. put a pinky toe in my butt crack?" Well, actually, they kept saying, like, "Well, the sex therapist here." <laughs> So I made the mistake of mentioning it, and they're they're all like, "We'd like to listen. We'd like to come on the show." And I said, "No." <laughs> and uh, why not? And I said, "Because then I'll because censor myself." Because vagina. That's why. You know, if I know you, then I won't fucking say. <laughs> <laughs> Put it in my veg. <laughs> you know, well, I give that disclaimer anyway whenever I talk to people who are interested, and mm -hmm. it's like, you know what? We're well. I was talking yesterday about being a guest on somebody's show. Like, we're really blue, which is the old world term for cursing a lot, right? So I got to just... We curse up a blue streak? Yeah. Blue. So I just got to tell them now. Uh, so I, I've been using our, you know, our word of the week last week was razor cunt. Really? <laughs> I don't know if you really want to listen to the show. <laughs> <laughs> ding, ding, ding. <laughs> so yeah, if you if you so happen to know me from soccer events, turn it off. <laughs> You know they're not going to. <laughs> no. I'd like totally to be able good. to safely when, say stick it in the ass. When you tell when you tell people you can't do something, they will do it anyway. I know. Yeah. And they said, they're like, we're going to find it. Yeah. We will figure it out. Didn't, you know what? Every person I've ever invited to listen to the show has never listened to the show. All the people that I say, please don't listen, they all listen. So I mean, yeah. maybe I should have said, listen. Yeah, <laughs> didn't, totally. Did, they didn't they try to go behind your back to find <laughs> out information? Yes. One very specifically asked my child, and um, my child is like, doo, 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 I'll tell you whatever you need to know. <laughs> this is the same child who tells everyone when I say I'm 29, she goes, she's 40. <laughs> <laughs> I love your daughter. That's the same one. <laughs> Honest to a fault, yeah? Yes. <laughs> yes. So, yeah, she'll, she'll tell you what you, uh, what you need to know. So. <laughs> Do my ass look fat in these jeans? Mm -hmm. Yes. Then, yes. <laughs> Heading out in the door in these jeans. <laughs> oh, the seams are coming apart. <laughs> That's how I like them. <laughs> Surprise Living, for later. I can see your thigh hanging out. <laughs> Living on the dangerous side. <laughs> Living on the edge. <laughs> uh, what's the other term? Uh, muffin top. Muffin top. Your muffin top oh is outrageous. I just a real quick funny story, but um, we I was in a fitting room. My daughter was younger. And I was trying on jeans and I was having such a hard time, and I buttoned them and. She's so, like, she was little, little, and she screams for everyone in there to hear. She's like, all of a sudden, she goes, oh, that's what muffin taught me. <laughs> <laughs> so, 
yeah, everyone in the fitting room heard that one. And, um, I didn't Busted get those up jeans. laughing? Yes, I didn't get those jeans, and I'm standing in there like... Mortified. Completely yeah. mortified. That's hilarious. Uh, at least your son, at least your child hasn't hollered out at a public school to you change the public school. <laughs> Mom, I can see your furball! Right, we use that now. Ever Do since we use furball at home, ball? Ball? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Furball's great. Like, put some clothes well, on next you, to you You're not going to be able to use it once that lady comes visit your house. True. Yeah, True. it's got to be, like, to be lazy. I well, can see your be. Egyptian sphinx cat. <laughs> Well, we were talking this weekend. One of the ladies had it uh, lasered. She has she has things like lasered permanent? down there. Yeah, permanent. And she's like, part of it, like it's all nice and smooth, and Did the she other let you just touch minimal. It? No. <laughs> you know, you know how it's ladies who just get a boob job like, go around. My touch my wheel. Wheel. <laughs> Do people who get a laser down there go? You should touch my twat area. I mean, I would like when I get the Brazilian, I'll be like to everyone, like, Do you want to feel? <laughs> She's going to come into normal. the show with a skirt on. She'll be like, I will. feel it. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm totally one of those people. Like, if I had a boob job, I'd be like, hey, can you tell me what you think of me? She'd bend over, open her crack. <laughs> see, she did it all the way. <laughs> can you see anything back there? Like, I can't. Just, can you check? Go in. Do I need some face with bleaching? <laughs> Anal bleaching home kits for those assholes that just need to lighten up. <laughs> Crazy. Do you do all that stuff? No, you don't do any of that stuff. I don't do any of that stuff. Do you curl it or anything? No, but you (laughs) could get down there and put some. You could get down there and put some like cornrows in it. Yeah, can we can we put those little beads in and like tie? I think that would hurt when she's humping really hard though. Bells would be great. That would still hurt. Can we can we color it like mermaid colors? Can we mermaid your? Yeah. I've I've heard her having sex. It's like this sometimes. It would hurt her. A permanent and ble- yeah, bed. It's one of the reasons why I haven't gotten any sort of piercings down there is because I'm afraid that yeah. with all of the craziness that I do, that I might rip something out. She's still young. She she happen. still hangs off chandeliers and crap. Well, with the That's systems. totally normal, right? <laughs> Get your ass up there! <laughs> Stop poking me in the butthole! <laughs> <sighs> All right, so why don't we, before we get into our news, new stuff, why don't we do the curse word of the week? Ding, ding, ding. It's time for the curse word of the week, brought to you by <laughs> Sierra from SinCityBounty.com. That's fabulous. So the curse word of the week is twat waffle. Twat waffle. It's one of, yeah, it's one of my Toxie's favorites. favorites. So a twat waffle is a noun. It is either a bitch who is just so bitchy that she's just as irritating as a burnt waffle, or it's a gossipy cunt. Hose beast is the word that I Hose use. Hose beast? Hose beast, whose lips are flapping like a waffle iron at uh, Pancake House on Sunday morning. <laughs> <laughs> and I, I had to have her define what hose beast was, which is... A bitch. In, in pantyhose. pantyhose. <laughs> <laughs> Often either male or female. I think on the thing I put motherfucker in pantyhose to, to determine that it wasn't either male or female. So Yeah. So. Although boys can be bitches, too. So I think we have, I don't know, I don't know. Yeah, we have some stories of some twat waffles. Uh, yes, yeah, Sarah Palin, twat waffle. <laughs> twat waffle. So do we want to start with that one now? Let's start yeah, with that. Yeah, because her lips are just a flapping like a pancake house waffle By the way, iron. real quick, Callie Guy said um, no, no, and um, no. I'm assuming yeah. it's in regards to shaving, doing some work yeah, down there. No, no work. No the beating, or the beating, the or the bells, or the... Yeah. All of it. Probably. Next, next time he comes back, you'll have a surprise. <laughs> Yay! Like, what, about, what about coloring? Looks like, like Don King. Uh, I've seen some rainbow ones, rainbow yeah, colored that's what I was ones. Saying, or, or the that's mermaid. Cool. You know the mermaid hair? Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, you so that's what you're talking about. You know a hair person who could do it. I'm not asking my sister to do my <laughs> Ray Ray hair vaginas. <laughs> hey, sis! But she would do it. She's Probably. your sister. She would do it. No. No? She's popped a pimple on my butt, but that's about the best it's gotten. Like where on your butt? Like in the crack of your butt? Yeah. Really? You that is a damn them? fine do you, sister. Do you realize that at this point, if I ever got a pimple in my butt, I'd have to come to you. <laughs> yeah. I'd have to like show up and say, hey, here's some Jack Daniels. Um, Can you pop a pimple in my butt? <laughs> I've gone to my mom for those things. Speaking of my sister, she just asked me to bring her home an Oreo shake from Jack in the Box. <laughs> <laughs> Well, now she owe, she'll owe you a favor. Yeah, do it, do it. <laughs> you owe me one butt crack pimple popping. 
All right, so news today was that uh, Sarah Palin came out in, uh, and endorsed Donald Trump. If you ever needed another reason to not vote for Donald Trump, there it is. Saying that uh, he will kick ISIS's ass. And Trump said, of course, I'm greatly honored to have received her endorsement. She's a friend, a high-quality person uh, whom I have great respect for. I am proud to have her support. Did anyone watch her reality show? She's one of the most redneck basic bitches I've ever met. Well, uh, most of the people who are not crazy right-wingers believe she's to be, she's crazy. She's crazy. So she she appeals to the crazy to right-wingers. The crazy right-wingers. Yeah. Right? And still does, no matter what. There's still people who want her to be president or vice president or no president. She's the reason why I did not vote Republican. She exactly. She's exactly. the reason why I didn't vote Republican. Yeah. Either. I, it all started with the, I could see Russia from my house. That got me right there. I was like, what the? Oh. And then I wanted to see Russia from her house. Right. Which, you know what? I'll bet you she probably can. When it, you know, on a clear day on the top of a mountain, maybe. Yeah. If if the, the sun glints off the ice of the Bering Strait or something. Right. But do you ever think, like, is there anybody out there who... You're breaking shit already? Wow. It is only our third week in the studio. <laughs> when right? uh, when Sarah third Palin week? says, you know, you have my endorsement, do you think there's anybody who's like, nah, it's okay? There's a lot, like, a lot of Democrats. That's true. That's true. <laughs> like, oh, it's uh, like when the last... A number week, of libertarians. <laughs> last, week, last week, the KKK did robocalls for Donald Trump as well. I, I don't think he wrote them a letter in saying, stop, stop doing robocalls for me. I haven't seen anything on the news yet that he's done. So I guess you don't turn down any kind of endorsement that you get. No, any I would assume there has to be some. Probably. I, I mean, uh, what's that? What's NAMBLA? <laughs> NAMBLA. The, the association. I don't know if it's a real association. The Association of Pedophiles. Yeah, you might want to turn them down. Yeah, I would think so. If they're if they're endorsing you. I don't even remember what NAMBLA stands for. I'm looking it up right now. Okay. I just remember that. I the, I wouldn't search that because when the government the North American Man phone, Boy Love Association that's the one yeah 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 <laughs> is that a real or is it a real organization to say it on there it is it's got a Wikipedia oh, page and great. everything so so she came out today for Donald Trump but yesterday her son Track since they got a logo oh god. Her <laughs> Look at I the can't. Logo. You, do, you, you need to clear your there's, history, okay? There's, there's, there's very like I'm a, I'm a big believer in people can be reformed. They can cut like, they can come out. They can change their ways. Even if you've murdered somebody, I still believe there's a hint of redemption in you. Do you want to see That's what my, the one area my search history not. right now is? North American Man Boy Love Association. One hundred and one Nook books under two ninety nine. Geek girl. Books, 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 books. Ladies' Night by Mary Kay Andrews. Good book, by the way. Uh, books. Somewhere books, books, a task force. You know what? It doesn't books, matter what your history books. was. The, all they'll all they'll see is Nambla and go crazy. Yes. You too. The story behind the story's behind every YouTube song ever. <laughs> somewhere, books, somewhere. Books, what is it? Your books. IP address. Somewhere your IP address. It is has been dinging. recorded. No, you're absolutely right. When people, when you listen to the audio of our show. Using the link that we provide uh, up on Facebook or Twitter or any of those, there's a ping. How to draw to the server? Nuts. There's a ping on the server here, and I get your IP address. So yes, your IP address is recorded forever. Um, really quick, Kelly guy said that was Tina Fey. He said she could see it from her house, or that you could see Russia from her house. Palin said you could see Russia from her state, which is true, at the Bering Strait. Yes, it is true at the Bering Strait. The furthest. West you could possibly get in that, I think. No, there's something further west than that, but yeah. Probably an island. Somewhere. No, it's some territory that America has. Somewhere. Maybe Hawaii. Yeah. I don't know. I don't, I don't well, know. Well, I would vote for Tina Fey before I'd vote for uh, <laughs> Sarah Palin. So Definitely. Sarah Palin was a much better, uh, or Tina Fey was a much better Sarah Palin than Sarah, <laughs> Sarah Palin. Palin. Yes. So... Yes. Okay. So we were talking about now. I'm not. I I'm always on the fence about when a child acts up, whether it's the parent's fault or not. <laughs> it depends on the type because of acting it depends. Yeah, it all depends. I mean, I think I'm a good person because of the way my parents raised me. But when I fuck up, I don't want to blame my parents. You know what I mean? So I'll tell you a real quick story. I was at a store with a friend, and she had her young daughter with her. 
And she wasn't going to buy her daughter something. Her daughter kept asking her and asking her and asking her. And she kept telling her, no, no, no. And the girl stopped in the middle of the storm at the top of her lungs, screamed, I knew you never loved me. You never loved me. I hate you. And you would never buy me anything I want. And that's why you don't love me. And I'm like, that's a spoiled, rotten child. Never gotten her ass whooped. That's the parents' fault. Do you think do you think her her mom acted that way with her husband or boyfriend and yes. that's why where the daughter learned it? Absolutely. I have yes. So absolutely. I think it all depends, right? It all depends on what the action is. So, with that being said, uh Track Palin, the son of Sarah Palin, the day before on Monday, was arrested for alleged domestic abuse and uh waving a gun around. But it seems, according to the story, it seems that um, he said he said the phrase, or according to a statement the woman gave, do you, do you think I won't do it? Which may be that he would shoot himself. And I've actually had that happen to me. Uh, uh, Psycho uh, Mike? No, no. This was um, actor Bob. Actor Bob? Actor Marijuana Bob. The one I used to buy marijuana for. Oh, see, clean your house. Right, right. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, that was the form of payment for him cleaning? No, no, no. When he was high, he When he clean. was stoned, he cleaned, like, deep cleaned everything. My dog had a bath three days a week. <laughs> Where is this man? Right? <laughs> <laughs> but there was one day he got really, he, he uh, did something bad. He spent all his money, gambled it away. He had a gambling problem. That's why we're not together anymore. And he had stole money from my account and all kinds of stuff. And... So we got into an argument, and we I had weapons in the house because I believe you know the right to bear arms as well, and he it was it was actually a a, gu a shotgun though so not a shotgun uh, a rifle, and uh, he locked it b barricaded himself in the closet and threatened to shoot his own head off because he was so he was trying to emotionally blackmail me into <laughs> forgiving him. Like all you're gonna do is ruin some of my clothes. That's all you're going to do. So, yeah, crazy. All right, That's next story. That's Waffles raisin, raisin Cunt Cakes. That's what that is. <laughs> cunt Cakes, your word of the week next week. Is uh, give us an update on uh, Ammon Bundy and uh, Ammon Bundy. brothers, so, or Oregon Militia brothers. So the ones who are baking bread with their dildo? <laughs> <laughs> That's one of my favorite memes ever, by the way. Um... This story just gets better and better, and I just really hope they hold out for like another three or four months because it's right. only going to get better from here. <laughs> so apparently, it, it the the article starts off with some guy just sent Oregon militia fifty five gallons of lube I to go with that. those dildos. Do you know who it was? It was the guy who created uh, Cards Against Humanity, yep. one of the creators for Cards Against Humanity. He was like, because they what, what did he say? Uh, he complained about a giant dildo. Here we go. Uh, da, 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 da. Oh, because he complained of the large dildo and a bag of penis-shaped candies that he had received. And so he was like, well, you know, if you're going to get candies and dildos, you should get lube, too. So he literally ordered him 55 gallons of like, lube. Like, you've all seen that 55-gallon drum on Amazon and right. probably thought, what could you do with 55 gallons of lube? Send Personal it to an lube. Oregon militia member who's barricaded well, it, himself in a bird watching facility. Isn't it normally used for like women wrestling or midget wrestling yes, or something like that? Yes, it's usually used for wrestling. You get one of those little bathtubs and you fill it up with your 55 gallons of lube. Yeah. They have they have special jello that you can purchase for that. No, when you're doing lube wrestling, you just use regular lube. That's why they sell them. Okay, because gallons. if you're doing also, the if you jello go wrestling, the it's a special um it's a special thing that you purchase. Yeah, I looked it up. Also, <laughs> Actually, we business have venture, at <laughs> yeah. business venture for Toxie and yeah. the. Um, it, they also the big drums. A lot of the theaters, the porn theaters, where you go in and pay five bucks no. and watch ten minutes of porn. You got a hand pump of <gasps> lube in there, no. and they just refill it from their fifty-five yeah. gallon drum. The first, the first porn, really quick. The first porn store I ever went to, um, and I got thrown out because I wasn't of age. Uh, but this is <laughs> this is back east. I was over eighteen, but I guess you had to be over twenty-one. I just remember walking in and them having uh, buckets and hoses, and they were hosing out the rooms. And I go to my friend, like, what happens in there? <laughs> and she's like, they're hosing out the nut <laughs> from the guys in the room. Right. <laughs> and I just, I was in shock. And then, you know, then I was carded. <laughs> like, you don't know about the nut butt? Yeah. No. <laughs> I was going to go in and find out, but. 
I've never actually, I'm afraid to go, I, all the people who's never afraid to do stuff like that, I'm afraid to go into those little theater booths because I've of how disgusting they are. Oh, yeah? How was it? <laughs> do you know how much DNA you collected? I didn't booth? touch a thing. I just, I was on you a tour. You touched the floor. I was on a tour. I had shoes on. I was on a tour. I was she touring the DNA facilities. I was touring the facilities. Is that the one at our friend used to work? Uh, no, this is, um, who was I with? Um, oh, I remember who I was with. We were buying beauty or something. Anyway, um, I know who so. you were with. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I was just walking around because they had like uh, they had the big room up front with all the normal stuff, and then they had the bondage room in the back, which with is all always the... red and black. Mm, but that's, that's cool. And then they had the little theater things around. And I think he was talking to. Uh, one of the salesmen or something like that, trying to get something specific. I can't remember. So I just wandered around and I wandered into the rooms and and it's just a little cubby with like a little curtain across it and there's a box of tissues and a little movie screen thing and a little hand pump. It was actually very clean when I went in there. It was bright because they had just hosed it down. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> there was like a blue, a bright festive blue curtain hanging on the door and. It wasn't like seedy and dark or anything, so we should all go sometime. Just, just we know where to go. Yeah, yeah, let's go. We can come back and talk about it. We, we should probably it. take some spending money just so we can buy something. Just, just for research purposes. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Maybe we get off on our taxes. I'll talk <laughs> to our tax lady. <laughs> Damn it! You guys just reminded me. I forgot to move the dildos in my house. Where are they? Well, right now they're just sitting on a cabinet in my hallway because I got the cabinets up there, and my crazy fucker sister's in town. And so I'm sure she's already seen the dildos because she walked up there like two or three times. But who cares? That's true. They're Unless still she's in their the, at your the house. Only, the only no, thing she's not at my house. I she has been to my house. I think the only thing you should worry about is whether she pockets one. No. I don't care. Not even whether she pot. Well, I would clean them all again. No, no, no. The they're all side. in the packaging. There's stuff like we got from the show last time oh. and stuff. Remember when... Um, our friend who worked at the porn store showed up with a bag full of dildos. It's stuff from that right. thing. Why, why have you used I've used all goods? those. I've used all mine. Have you? <laughs> They're all in my headboard cubbies. <laughs> Don't open our headboard cubbies. Now I know. <laughs> <laughs> we walk in and instead of decor in the headboard, it's all like dildos hanging Just out. Assorted flopping. variations. Oh, no. They're, they're, they're door, door covered cubbies. <laughs> You know what I want to get is just like some oddball looking dildos that are all floppy looking. Just put them up as like decorative art. Really? Yeah, I think it'd be cool. There's I'm plenty. Gonna... There's plenty of actual ancient art with erect penises. Mm -hmm. That they're pretty awesome actually. There's this one. Uh, I'm sure my crazy sister would call goat CPS foot God mm -hmm. from like Crete or something like that. Who's got a massive erect uh, penis? It's beautiful, beautiful penis. I would love to have. Is that it veiny or is it ancient smooth penis? Um, I, I, you know what? Um, I've only seen the statue of it at a couple places, and I've never like inspected it because it was a small statue. Mm -hmm. So, but it's still beautiful. There's um, uh, an ancient Egyptian god. I think he's called Nut Ptah. <laughs> Nut is a girl god, but yes, I know. Yes, yes. Um, I can't remember for sure his name is, but his statue is a very thin. Egyptian, you know, almost sarcophagus looking dude with a erect <laughs> it looks like, just a, it looks straight like out. a short legged T when you turn him on his side. <laughs> that uh, is awesome. Uh the, the Greeks had fabulous. The Greeks had Priapus. Priapus? Priapus. Or Pri yeah, whatever. Uh in ancient Greece also Hermes, the messenger god, the god the who The purse god? The <laughs> sure. Um, at crossroads, they used to erect these like obelisk. Uh, they're called herms after Hermes, and there was these ob 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 obelisks, and all they would have on them were balls and a penis stuck on them. It was awesome, and you'll. It's great as if they were pointing direction, like four miles to Dickland. <laughs> and if you go seventy-five feet, the vagina world. Um, and then of course when when uh, the Romans, no, the Romans actually like those too. So probably when Christianity took over, a lot of those herms got uh, destroyed, and all the penises and balls came off of them. So you'll find these. I hate obelisk when the penis and balls things. come off. Right, right, right. Yeah, with uh, little gouges in them for where the, the things were taken off. So yeah, there's tons of stuff in ancient history. So you could actually call it real, for real art. Art. It's yeah. ancient art. As opposed uh, to modern day. As, as opposed to modern day. Porn, super, super tumble. 
Becker I can't. Lewis. I can't wait to see this Tumblr account. <laughs> Two a.m. middle of the night. You know what I'll be doing. I've been there. <laughs> I was there last night. I'm going there again this evening. So I'm yeah. alone on a Saturday night. Just I've, me. I've, a little bit of I. It's been a few months since <sighs> I've been on my Tumblr because of that. I was right. up till like three o'clock in the morning. Going, God damn, it's three o'clock in the morning. <laughs> I have seen every Harry Ball sack on Tumblr now. <laughs> uh, too funny. All right. Next story. You. Uh, let's talk about, oh gosh, I do quite a few things. Let's talk about the Oscars. Okay. So, the Oscar nominations came out. Uh, it's very, um, very undiverse. That's true. That's as far true. as the nominees. Uh, What's the hashtag for this one? Hashtag white Oscars. White Oscars, I believe. Yeah. Um, mm, some really great mean. actors. I mean, Brian Cranston, Matt Damon, Leonardo DiCaprio. Yeah. Uh, Michael Fassbender, Eddie, I don't know him. Oh, name. you know what? Um, I've, Kate Blanchett. I've seen, I think, three three of the movies, and they're really good movies. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, I can see them deserving, you know, um, a, the problem, a nomination. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to throw out the controversial bit of evidence out here. The problem is not that the Oscars are excluding black people. The problem is that there are not enough black people playing... Good. I mean, I'm, yeah. they're playing good roles, but they're not playing Oscar nominatable roles in big ass movies. There's just not well, enough of them. Some are. When, like <laughs> the help, the help when every Oscar known to fucking man, and it was full of black people. So I mean, it, it's it's all about the movie. Like, so Leonardo DiCaprio run out on the role for The Revenant, but it's based on a true story. It was a white dude, so it had to be a white dude who played him, right? So, and he's got nominated for The Revenant. Uh, same thing with. Michael Fassbender and Steve Jobs. He's playing the role of a white dude. It had to be a white dude. What we need to do is diversify. Wait, wait. in Shawshank Redux Redemption, Red wasn't uh, in the book. Wasn't I think he was a white dude in the book? No, but that's that's fiction. Fiction can be fictionalized <laughs> even true. further. When you're retelling a true story, you've got to, you know, did you Morgan can't Freeman say Steve Jobs was from Nigeria. Like did, you can't do that shit. Did Morgan Freeman win an Oscar for Shawshank Redemption? Because if he didn't, he should have. Leonardo DiCaprio should have won for at least four of the last five movies he was in, and he didn't win. So, well, you know, it's not because he was black; it's because the Oscar sucked. I don't, I don't disagree so, with the yeah. So it, it here's lack what of happened. Diversity. Well, here's what yeah. happened. Um, so we have you know a lot of uh, a lot of different people nominated again. Sylvester Stallone for Creed. <laughs> um, but yesterday Jada Pinkett Smith came out and she um, posted a video just saying that. Basically, that we have to stop waiting to get uh, acceptance and recognition from others, and you know we should really get out there and um, and kind of work on this and, and kind of get our self recognition. And she really called them out for there not being any diversity. Um, the I believe it's the president of the um, the award show came out and said, you know, that this is very true. This is something we need to work on. But it was all countered today by um, Aunt Viv from the uh, from the Fresh Prince of Bel Air. The original is that her Aunt actual Viv. name? The original Aunt one. Viv? No, I oh. actually I probably should have written down her uh, real name, but Aunt Viv is it works for me. And so she was the first Aunt Viv. She was actually um, she's no longer on the show due to some situation things she had with Will Smith because and the show Alfonso was canceled Ribeiro. twenty years ago. <laughs> Well, so, no, well, she. This is before, after yeah. she was in for yeah. three seasons, and then all of a sudden, Aunt Viv was a different Aunt Viv. Right. So she came out and she said um, that she said, you know, first to Jada, uh, doesn't your man have a voice? Why don't you let him speak for himself? And she said, you know, you're focused on the the Oscars and trying to get people to boycott the Oscars when what you're doing is now if they boycott, you're these are the people you're taking work away from. Um, and she also said that. Um, that they should be focusing on other things. Like she said, our boys are dying on the streets. You know, they're they're hungry, they're homeless. There's other things we should be focusing on versus the, the Oscars. What's been the What's been the reaction to Aunt Viv's uh, reaction? I think a lot of people uh, are taking it humorously, um, only because it's it's Aunt Viv. <laughs> Well, I mean, and was she video? smiling and going, no, oh, well? No, she was no, she dead serious. She was oh. Dead serious. But, but she was but like, the, hey, nobody got time for that serious. That's the kind right. of, I mean, she was so, really kind of cranking it up there. Yeah. I, d I don't remember Aunt Viv. She was just the wife to the 
the older guy on the show, right? right. Uncle Phil. Yeah. Come so, on. She I just was in like three episodes a season, maybe. So, so I have a couple of issues with this and Viv lady. One, uh, the whole thing about taking work away from people. If Jada Pinkett Smith says to Chris Rock, uh, "Hey, I." You know, you should consider not uh, hosting the Oscars this year because of the lack of diversity. Chris Rock can say, fuck you, I'm working it. Or he can fuck say... Fuck you, I am the diversity. Right. I, uh, or it's my platform to talk about the lack of diversity, right? So she's not forcing anybody not to do whatever. She's just putting her opinion out there, and people can take it or leave it as they wish. Uh, one of our friends, I don't, I'll say her first name, I don't know if that... If she'll care, but um, one of our friends, Fernie, is here. Yay, Fernie. Yay. Mister. And then the second issue that I have with uh, Aunt Viv. I don't know why I have an issue with Aunt Viv. Mm-hmm. Um, the whole uh, there are people dying in the streets and children starving. That is akin to the emotional blackmail meme post that they put on Facebook. Share this or you don't have a heart. <laughs> Guess I'm a cold-hearted bitch. You know, that's. That's that's Lisa so not a twat waffle. This is Jada Pinkett Smith's purview right now is the Oscars and her husband not getting nominated. When when she's ready to do some and I'm sure she has done plenty of social work and uh, charity work in the past, I'm she'll do it again okay. on a scale that's uh, much more than I can do. I'm trying to think. Is she mad because the movie that he just put out didn't get um, nominated for an she Oscar? Didn't, she didn't concussion? specifically focus on concussion. Like it was a, the video wasn't about concussion. It was about the I fact mean because that there he's was been nominated for Oscars for roles in the past, right? Pretty it repeatedly. Was, but it it was you know kind of he probably he should have been nominated. Yeah, what else from can, what I haven't what other, seen the movie, but uh, I, I heard he was great. Other shows that. straight out of Compton that was a great movie this year. Right. Um, uh, I. Th- Creed uh, didn't Creed get nominated? Creed's no. about a black dude. No, no. Straight Outta Compton got nominated, but uh, the writers got nominated. But there were yes. white writers, right? right? Oh. Selma came out this year. Mm-hmm. Not a single, uh, not a single nomination for it. But was it that good? It was pretty good. Mm-hmm. Yeah. See, that's my thing. Like everybody, what? Oh, Selma was last, was last year. year. Oh, okay. Yeah, it was at the previous Oscars. Okay. So, I mean, well, here's my thing. Like, some of these movies, like, I'm surprised. Like, Straight Outta Compton is like 8 Mile. It's like one of those semi-autobiographical movies put together by whatever. Um, so, if it was written well and acted well, good. It should have been nominated. But things like Selma, like I heard, like, it was a great message, but I didn't really hear anything about amazing acting, amazing writing, amazing anything else like that. Just that it was a really good movie. When you, when movies get nominated for Oscars, they're always the one that you hear people talking about. Oh my God, I went to the movies four times and saw it. Like everyone I know saw Selma once. Yeah, but that's not how it works anymore. Has have you heard anybody say, "Oh my God, I've gone to the movies and seen Spotlight four times." I didn't even know what Spotlight was. I, didn't even, no, I, don't, I, don't I even still know don't Spotlight know what it is. is. Oh my God, I went and saw Bridge of Spies twice. No. I don't what even know what that is. The only, the only reason short, I, I know yeah, about Bridge of Spies is because Tom Hanks was on Jimmy Fallon, and they uh, did kid Jimmy acting. Fallon. Remember when well, the see, kids write the scripts? Yeah, so uh, Mad Max, The Martian, and The Revenant, it's going to be one of these three that wins. Those are the ones that I heard everyone talk about. Those are the ones Didn't that, The Revenant that just that come out? Yeah, it doesn't matter if you hear everyone talking. It. It right. should, the Oscars, though. in many cases, are. It's not about the popularity. Yeah, because that's um, the, the People's voters, Choice Awards, right? Right. The voters are, in, in many cases, the voters, the voters are like stodgy <laughs> old men, like sitting there, like, well, well, buddy, uh, what movie should we go for? Which one did Never Been Us in it? <laughs> um, but they it, actually, in, in Best Picture, there's been many years where I've said I have never even heard of that movie, yeah. and it just won all these awards. Yeah. yeah. So they're, and they're then I went and watched the movie. Based. I've I've had that happen. Movie I never heard of wins all these awards. I go and watch the movie and I'm like, hmm. yeah. well, same thing. Like Leonardo DiCaprio, very popular person, very good actor, never critically good, never acclaimed, winning. never won. And you know that why? Is a crying shame. He's very popular. Is that right, Because he won't suck That's someone's not, cock. Yeah. Well, he is you. not a cocksucker. Well, maybe someone can do it on his behalf. No, but he can waffle my tot anytime He's he wants. Probably a twat waffle, but not a cocksucker. <laughs> You're gonna say, you can walk dude, my is that we have 15 minutes or 10 minutes left? Five minutes. How does this happen? Three and a half minutes left because Holy we're used crap. to a three-hour movie or a three-hour movie. We're used to a three-hour show. That's why. Wow. 
I can't even talk about saggy boobs. And I can't even talk about the history of the world. I want to talk about my selfie cat, though. Let's do talk it. Talk about that Manny, Manny the selfie cat is this stray cat who came upon this Instagram user who set up his GoPro. Um, I put a post on our Facebook and I think our Twitter and Tumblr um, to go look. This cat is amazing at taking his own selfies, if he's actually taking his own selfies. But he manhandles the GoPro camera, so it looks like he's taking selfies. And they're my favorite kind. There's a couple of them where he's alone, but most of them he's got buddies in the back, like dogs and other cats and all kinds of crap like that. He's amazing. I like, love like him. Teddy bear. Love him. Love him. Selfie cat. Let's uh, quick. What was it that you wanted to talk about real quick? Because we've got a minute. Um, Americans don't know shit about America, and uh, yeah, it's a really terrible <sighs> statistic. There are something like 42% of Americans don't even know why we went into the Korean War. Like, they don't even know why we went to Korea and fought Koreans. A lot of them don't know that the Korean War and the Vietnam War are two totally different wars. Like, it's really... It's just a war. Over there in Asia, it's like the Gulf Wars. They all kind of run together, too. Well, yeah. There's I the mean, first Gulf War, the second Gulf War, and the current Gulf War. Except it's not really the It's Gulf the War. Afghanistan War, right? right? It's the Middle Eastern and War. And then we have two minutes, or he's about to take a selfie like right. a, like a teen. <laughs> with duck lips and everything <laughs> alright uh, anything personal you guys want to share that happened to you this week our refrigerator broke down and it's been broke down for three days we can't have food in our house because of it okay damn coolers no my cooler is in another state right now okay because it hasn't been returned in over a year All right. fresh vegetables for you then no. you Toxie <laughs> that's food uh, I, I tried something new Um, as you know I'm that's your resolution this year? Kinda, yep, yeah, yep. trying something new, trying to, you know, get out there, meet people, maybe even, you know, attempting to date. And um, I decided, you know, I'm on a, a dating site or two, and uh, I decided to start being honest and just telling someone when, hey, like, I'm not interested. Right. And it's not going so well. No, <laughs> no, no, no. I should have told no. you that's the wrong thing to someone's do. Gotta, someone should have told me, like, do not tell the truth, do not be honest, and say, you know, hey, no thanks, I'm not interested. So. No, because t- suddenly you're the biggest, baddest, ugliest bitch I they've ever am, met. I am like, this is why you're divorced you with sh- a kid. Oh, you should take some screenshots of some of those. I, I, I can them. help you bloop some of the stuff out. Oh, my God. Okay. Hey, you've been listening to and watching Sin City Bounty. Uh, find us on SinCityBounty.com. We are on Facebook, Twitter, uh, Google+, Plus, Tumblr. Um, uh, everything except Instagram right now because I don't want to manage an Instagram account. Maybe one of you guys will do it. Yeah. We're here every Tuesday, 8 p.m. Uh, our archive will be up on YouTube either tonight or tomorrow, and our audio archive will be up sometime tomorrow afternoon as well. We'll see you next week. We love you. Smooches. Bye. Well, I'm the most petty to sound.